Hey everybody, welcome back to Bibbidi Bobbidi Bartender. This segment on the Cam Mac Adventures features how to make your own Disney cocktails from home. Now as you know, if you've been watching the previous episodes, we've been making cocktails from around the world showcase at Epcot. And this week, I'm taking you to a kingdom. Not the Magic Kingdom and not the Animal Kingdom, the United Kingdom. The birthplace of some of the greatest rock and roll bands history has ever known, and home to some of the most iconic beverages you can drink while around the world. I'm going to teach you how to make two of the most iconic beverages available at the Rosen Crown Pub in the United Kingdom Pavilion. Here's what you're going to need. For tools, you're going to need a cutting board, a knife, cocktail measuring jiggers, a shaker, and a strainer. For raw materials, you will need orange juice, pineapple juice, maraschino cherries, and an orange. For alcohol, you will need peach schnapps, Midori melon liqueur, Bailey's Irish cream, Jameson Irish whiskey, Guinness stout, and green creme de menthe. The first cocktail we're gonna make is called the Welsh Dragon. This is one of the most popular cocktails available at the pavilion, and it is something that I've drank while drinking around the world many times. So, let's get started with the most crucial ingredient, our green creme de menthe. So you're actually gonna need an ounce of that, so go ahead and put that on into your shaker. And I bought smaller bottles of this because it's really not a good idea to buy a huge bottle because you're really never going to use it unless it's for a cocktail like this. So if you're serving it to multiple people, you definitely should buy the larger bottle. Next ingredient you're going to need is peach schnapps. So put an ounce of peach schnapps in there. Get a little green left over from the last ingredient. And you'll need an ounce of Midori melon liqueur. So toss that on in there. Just after that, we're gonna put in three ounces of orange juice. And for our last ingredient, we're gonna put two ounces of pineapple juice. Now, go grab some ice and let's get to shaking. Take your ice, tumble it on into the shaker, give it a tap and make sure it's secure. You should be able to grab it from the top or hang it upside down and nothing should fall out. Let's give it a shake. No one's gonna judge you except friends and family and anyone at home, so who better to judge you than them? Let's go. Very nice. Separate the top, make sure all the residue drips out of one side, and then you're gonna need a glass of ice. So what you'll do is strain the mixture into the glass, and you should have one perfect portion. Now, set that to the side because you're gonna need a quick garnish. And the best way to do this is to cut both the ends off of an orange and place that vertical, then cut it in half. Place it flat like this, cut that in half, and then you'll need just a little wedge of half the orange and you'll place that just on top. Now, all you'll need to finish this drink off is one maraschino cherry. And there we have it, the Welsh Dragon of the United Kingdom Pavilion in the Rosen Crown Pub. Delicious. Cheers to everybody. This next one is really easy to make, and it's also one of my favorite drinks to drink while I'm at a pub. This is called the Irish Car Bomb, or commonly known as an Irish Sinker. The sinker is implied by dropping the shot into the glass, thus sinking it. And this one is one you have to enjoy pretty quickly because the Bailey starts to curdle unless you drink it really fast. So, what we're gonna start by doing is taking our Guinness, open it up, and we're gonna fill just under half a glass. Like that. Next, you're gonna need an ounce of Jameson Irish Whiskey. Any Irish Whiskey will work, but Jameson is the most common for this beverage. We're gonna place that on into the shot glass. And finally, one ounce of Bailey's Irish Cream. And that's gonna go right on top of the Irish whiskey. This is a cocktail called a sinker, so what you're gonna need to do is sink it and drink it because the Baileys will curdle against the beer unless you take it down pretty quickly. Back to camp. 
Thank you so much for watching. We just did the Welsh Dragon and the Irish Car Bomb from the Rose and Crown Pub in the UK Pavilion at Epcot's World Showcase. We're going to travel around the world a little bit more, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss a single episode. Also, hit that thumbs up button to show your support, and if you have any questions or cocktails that you'd like to see on the show, make sure to comment them below. But until next time, thanks so much for watching. See you soon.